I'm Kendra Summer, and I'm a motorsports reporter and started my own production company, CWK Media, and brand Cruising with Kendra. This all happened when I quit my 9 to 5 news reporter job and started living out my passion. You can too, and now you're Cruising with Kendra. Hey cruisers, today was super exciting. Our issue of Vintage Truck Magazine hit newsstands this week, and you know, we had the cameras rolling to capture all the great behind the scenes moments from our shoot. And make sure to subscribe so you never miss an adventure from our team. Hey guys, Kendra Summer here with my dad, Dr. Todd Summer, and we are in Green Bay on location of the shoot of our Vintage Truck Magazine segment, and we are so excited to introduce this. Roll that tape. The September-October Vintage Truck Magazine issue has our feature story in it, The Three Summers. It highlights my family's multi-generational connection to international trucks. It was especially amazing to share this experience with my dad. And just tell me a little bit about how's it going? We're doing a shoot on actually the 79 Midas Scout that's been in our family since 1983. Brad from Vintage Truck here has been spending the day shooting some of the highlights off of this vehicle and hopeful that we'll be able to share that with uh, several other international harvester enthusiasts out there. We had a blast working with the editor of Vintage Truck Magazine, Brad Bowling. He was phenomenal on our shoot. Well, I've come up to photograph this beautiful international traveler which is the Midas conversion for our September-October issue of Vintage Truck Magazine. Uh, well, we look for interesting stories, and we have one with Dr. Summer because he is uh, not only the, the son of someone who used to work at International, but he also has a long, long history with these vehicles, restoring them, owning them, and that's a lot to put in our pages. Right, our focus is on pre-1985 stock vehicles as they came from the factory. We do half ton to one ton pickups and SUVs from that period. We go all the way back to, we've done vehicles as early as the early 1900s. I was really impressed with Brad Bowling because he spent so much time learning and asking questions about my family's international truck legacy. Many of you know that my grandfather worked as an engineer for International Harvester for over 40 years. And because of this, my dad ended up growing up around international trucks, visiting the factories and plants as a kid. When my grandfather passed away in 1985, my dad made it his mission to keep my grandfather's and the international truck legacy alive. Believe it or not, I'm even named after my grandpa Kenneth. Luckily, I was able to grow up around these internationals and my wonderful gearhead of a father. This shoot has been very special because this 1979 Traveler is treated much like a family member. My grandfather gave it to my dad right before he passed away, and this truck has always had some kind of presence at important family events, marriages, births, and so forth. And on location early in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Brad Bowling started the shoot with a light test setup and staging of the 1979 Traveler. Producing and capturing all the photos and article concepts for this feature, and thankfully our awesome CWK Media producer Blaine Seabolt was there to capture it all. Oh, it's been a blast. Kendra and I here have uh, had some good laughs and uh, we've also had some seriousness also as we've uh, done this uh, work up on our truck. I, I just think it's just uh, fun to spend some family time. Yeah, when you say shoot a few pictures, I usually think, yeah, 30 minutes in and out and we're done. You know, we've got the whole thing we need, but it's amazing how long it takes to get all the good shots you need and get the lighting just perfect and get it so it's just going to pop when it's in the magazine. And the biggest battle of the day? Mother Nature. Waiting for clouds and lighting. But here's a pro tip. While waiting on location, you have to sneak a few swigs of an energy drink because the days are pretty long. All in all, it was a great day on location, and to find out more about this issue of Vintage Truck Magazine, head on over to VintageTruckMagazine.com. And to follow along with us, head on over to CruisingWithKendra.com and follow us on social media at I'm Kendra Summer and at Cruising with Kendra. For Cruising with Kendra, I'm Kendra Summer. Keep cruising, and I'll see you next time.